Imela, I have already started this question. It is May 2025 IB. I've done question one, I've done question two. And today I'll be doing question three, which is about the cash flow statement. Let me just open up the answer book as well. Um, this is the answer book. Question two and question three. It is out of 43 marks. It needs to take us at least 26 minutes to complete. Refer to the information relating to Kenegoni Clothing Limited. And in 3.1, we need to complete the sales income tax account as will appear in the general ledger for the year and the 29th February 2024. No dates or folio numbers are required. I'm going to put in folio just to specify where each transaction would have been recorded. Please note that when it comes to sales income tax account i i get a lot of questions from students is this an asset account is it a liability account is it an expense account is it income account well it's between a liability and an asset it'll be an asset if sars is owing us and it'll be a liability if we are owing sars whenever we are owing sars this account will result on the credit side being higher this is us owing sars so it is us owing sars so you can simply say that on the credit side we record we put in entries that will result in us owing sars and that includes your income tax expense final expense account will be on the credit side and on the debit side we will have um, transactions or entries that will result in SARS owing us. And SARS can only owe us if we overpay our tax. Got it. And this information relating to Kane Goni Clothing Limited which is a South African listed company with authorized share capital of 5 million. They trade in both local and imported traditional outfits. I need to highlight this authorized. I might need it later on. It's very important. So they trade in both local and imported traditional outfits, which is, remember, we are Ken Goni Clothing Limited. Now we've got share capital or share information. On the 1st of March, 2023, the company had, I knew it, 80% had issued 80% of authorized shares. Let me just highlight that they had issued that and raised around, this is your share capital at the beginning of the year. Now during the year, they issued additional shares. We know that they issued additional shares but there were no shares that were repurchased, okay? Now, we're given an extract from the statement of comprehensive income, i.e. the income statement for the year ended 29th of February 2024. We have sales, cost of sales. We don't have depreciation. We don't have interest on loan. Okay. I was hoping that we will at least get our tax expense there or profit before tax or profit after tax. None of that is given to us. And when I look at the extract of the statement of financial position, i.e. the statement, um, the balance sheet statement, I will specifically look at what will affect our income tax, which will be this one here, sales income tax, right? So this is what I'm looking for. According to this, last year we were owing SARS. So I'm going to put that on the credit side. Okay, I will put that on the credit side of our SARS income tax as we were owing SARS. You will write it as balance brought down. How much were we owing SARS? We were owing them 75,000, right? Happy. And according to this, 
for this year, SARS is owing us. At the end of this year, which is the beginning of next year, uh, we will have a balance brought down on the debit side, and that balance brought down will amount to 32,000 rand. And obviously, if balance brought down is this side, that means that the balance carried down was on the credit side. Remember, this is the debit side, and that will be the credit side. It would have been 32,000 rand. All right, that's all I'm getting from the statement of um, financial position. And when I look at this, the only thing that I'm missing here are provisional payments and our income tax expense. This one will normally come from the statement of comprehensive income and we looked at the statement of comprehensive income it's not there now they have to give us at least provisional or payments to source or they must just give us more information to enable us to calculate how much we have paid over the year to source now let's read continue reading and the additional information and this is 4.1 how nice is that taxation and profit so they gave us that income tax is calculated at excuse me it is calculated at 30 percent of the profit but now guys they didn't give us profit before tax they didn't give us profit after tax. They're just giving us that. But they, let me just read point number two. Point number two says the total tax paid. That is what I was looking for. As per the cash flow statement for the year amounted to 1,247,000. Oh, that is amazing. So I'm just going to put that on the debit side. I'll just put it as bank. CPJ. It was 1,247,000. This is amazing because now I can easily find the balancing figure will be my income tax. Because I was just missing one of the two. And if I have one, then I'm sorted. Now find the bigger side. According to what I'm seeing here, because on the other side, I'm getting 107,000. And this side, I'm getting 101,247,000. So I'll put this as my totals. And it will be the totals will be the same on both sides. Now you'll notice here that your income tax amount will be the balancing figure. So what I'm going to do is to take this amount here, which is the total, and minus everything that is on the credit side. Take this, minus that, minus that. It should give you your income tax. So that is one million. 247,000. You're minus 32,000. You're minus 75,000. And it will give you 1,140,000. And there we go. So that is our income tax. Which is the balancing figure and this account will be complete. That's what we are required to do. Now let's get to 3.2. We need to calculate or oh, we need to calculate the following amounts required to complete note one below. 
we need to calculate our depreciation amount. Obviously, for that one, we will be using our current, non-current asset values. And we also need to calculate interest on loan. There we need to know whether it's capitalized or not. That's what will affect it. All right, let's get to depreciation and let us take a look at what we will need. Obviously, depreciation was not given to us. It is just a question mark. So what are we going to do is to use this value here for fixed assets. But you need to understand that this is the statement of financial position. So these values for fixed assets will be at carrying amounts. These are just your carrying amounts, all right? These are just your carrying amount, and that's what we're going to be using to calculate depreciation. And I'm going to scroll down just to check more information that I have. So I've been given 4.2, which is about fixed assets. And um, when it comes to your fixed asset, they say during the year, the company sold one vehicle at its book value. That is good because they're telling us that it was sold at book value. That makes our life very, very easy. Let me just take this one here. So this is the book value of the asset that was sold. Note that the book value is the same as the carrying amount, okay? They gave us the carrying amount of the asset that has been sold. And then it says the company purchased a new shop as well as the required equipment for that. So this will be the cost price of the equipment that they have just purchased. We're going to be using this information to calculate our depreciation. 